is there any method of getting x equals 0 other than guessing? Okay, let's have a look. Here we are going to solve this equation. And I really like this because you see that we have the 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, minus, minus, and it looks just so pretty, right? But I will tell you, I don't know if there's an easy way to do it. The way that I will do it is just the standard way, which is I will multiply everybody by its lowest common denominator so you can get rid of the fractions. However, all the denominators are different and there's no common factor, so we'll just multiply everybody by x plus 1, just everybody like this, plus 2 and then plus 3 and then the plus 4 version. Yeah. By the way, x equals 0 is a solution because you can see 1 over 1 is just 1 and then 2 over 2 is just 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0 and you also get 1 minus 1 here, x equals 0 is a solution. But anyway, now let me just proceed and then let's see what we come up with. So I will take this, multiply with the first fraction, and the x plus 1 will cancel. So we will just have 1 times this. I will write that down. We have x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4. Continue. This multiply with all that, x plus 2 will cancel. We have a minus 2 here, and we will just have x plus 1. This is out, so we have x plus 3, and then x plus 4. And then this will be equal to, this times that, the x plus 3 cancels, so we have 3, and then x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 4. And then the last one is minus 4, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3. So, up to this point, you may be like, huh, should we multiply out everything? No, I will factor things out because we notice that this and that, they are the same, so we can factor it out. So let me put that down, x plus 3 times x plus 4. And then we will have x plus 2 here, and then minus 2. And let me just write it down, minus 2 times x plus 1. So that's what we have on the left hand side that will be equal to, on the right hand side, we can factor out x plus 1, x plus 2. So let's do the same, x plus 1, x plus 2. And then we will have 3 times this, and minus 4 times that. Well, I fit everything here, that's pretty cool. Now, notice this part of this is just x plus 2, and then if you distribute it, we get negative 2x minus 2. So this and that cancel. x minus 2x is negative x. So we have negative x. And let me just keep this as how it is. And that's equal to. Right here, let's do the same thing. 3, distribute that inside, so 3x plus 12. And then distribute the negative 4. We get negative 4x minus 12. 12 and 12 can 12 and minus 12 cancel. 3x and minus 4x is negative x. Let's put that down right here and then we have this. So now notice we have x on both sides and they are multiplying. So x equals 0 is the solution. But this we, we can also do the following right to make it um, more organized, in my opinion. I'm going to move this to the other side, so we will have 0 equals, and that will be a positive x, and then x plus 3, x plus 4, and then minus x, and then x plus 1, x plus 2. And then I'm going to factor out the x from here and here, so we get x on the outside. This, let's just multiply the out. So we will get x times x, which is x squared. x times 4 is 4x, and then we have 3x here, so that's 7x, and then 12. Now, if you multiply this out, we will get x squared. x times 2 is 2x, and then one more x is 3x, and then 2. But here's the negative. Distribute the negative, we get minus x squared minus 3x and then minus 2. 
So from here, you can see that x squared minus x squared is out, and then this and that is 4x, and then this and that is 10. So now we get, let me write down the x first, and then we have this and that is 4x. And then 12 minus 2 is 10. That's equal to 0. So now, as you can see, we can set the first factor equal to 0, or the second factor equal to 0. And then solve this real quick, bring the 10 to the other side, and then divide both sides by 4. x equals negative 10 over 4, which it reduces to negative 5 over 2. So as we can see, we have two answers, x equals 0, and then the other one is negative 5 over 2. Is there an easy way to do this, though? I don't know. I feel like there must be it. For some reason, notice that negative 5 over 2 is the middle of 5, or the negative version of it. I just feel like it's, it's something to do with that, and I just can't really think about a way. But anyway, though, if you guys know an easier way to do this, let me know.